Alright, hello and welcome back to yet another throwaway card game. Today's game is Hanafuda, not Mahjong. But it's still kind of interesting in its own way. So, I mean, yes, you've got the requisite pictures of women just waiting to play games with you, but this one has a little bit of an interesting twist. That's right, you travel through time for the sole purpose of playing Hanafuda with people from other ages. That has got to be one of the most ridiculous premises I've seen in a while. And I always love that these Hanafuda games, even though they all essentially play the same and it's all the same card game, and at the end of the day it's the same darn thing, they really do their darndest to make sure that the outer wrappings are always kind of different. Just one of the le more lesser appreciated aspects of MAME, I believe. I have no idea what's going on. Hanafuda does not lend itself to understanding very easily. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I know I don't know the rules to Hanafuda and all that, but I'm pretty sure there aren't diamonds in Hanafuda. Or maybe there are. I don't. Maybe it's a crazier game than I thought. Did I win? Did I just win by doing absolutely nothing? Probably not, because I got a minus one. Ah, oh, darn. I failed you, 8877, girl. I kind of love it. It's like the picture of the girl right next to the futuristic space station. See where Mr. Peabody's time machine takes us next. 80, 20, 10? That's the past. Oh, is this 877 again? All right, I'm a little interested just to see who it was. Hey, I might have won, or maybe not. It's, it's still hard to tell. Oh, it was the same girl. That's it's terrible. I feel sad for leading you guys on. Hmm. Still, I just love that even the most steam, even arcade games that would seem to lend themselves to being the most generic still kind of do things every now and then to differentiate themselves from one another. It's a pretty cool, varied ecosystem out there. And on that note, this cat's got a scat.